What's going on guys? I'm a regular guy with the Regular Guy Firearms channel. Thanks for watching. Now, it feels as if that there is like a civic duty amongst people nowadays to possess the capability to state the obvious. We've had a pretty rough fucking few days. Okay. Um, all of us. Between the theater and between the Marines that were killed, okay, we've had a pretty rough few days. Okay. Um, either it's legitimately crazy motherfuckers or it's well, still legitimately crazy motherfuckers, but instead this dude's waving a Koran around, acting like he knows how to read the thing. Okay. So, a lot of, I, I've been receiving a lot of comments on, you know, what my perspective is on this. And instead, I'll, I'll answer that question with a question. You know, for the subscriber base that I have and stuff like that, my question is, what drives you? You know, what is your purpose for training your ass off? Spending the boatloads of money that it's required to get your ass trained up. You know, between rounds and cleaning supplies and hours and hours and hours, days and weeks and months in the gym, right? Getting your mind and body and individual trigger pulling skills uh, correct. You know, for me, it's also not just the gunfighting stuff and the gym stuff. I, I do a lot of hand to hand as well. Now, a lot of people call it a lot of different things, but ultimately that's what it is. You know, it, it's either it, somebody calls it ECQC, somebody calls it Krav Maga, somebody calls it Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. It's all pretty much the same shit. Not as far as techniques, but as far as what it's made for. You know, can you do what you got to do with your hands? You know, so what drives all that? You know, what is your purpose? And the reason why I ask this is that there's a lot of people out there right now that'll watch this channel and figure themselves good to go. Right? And I'm not trying to sound um, accusatory. In any way. But there's a lot of people that are watching right now that are not prepared for violence. They're not prepared to defend their lives. Because they'll do something like take their gun off before they go into work. They'll do something like leave the gun behind because it's getting uncomfortable. They'll do something like unload their gun when they get home. You know, um, as we speak, there's a loaded rifle about two feet off camera right over there. You know, um, and the reason why I'm saying this, and again, it's not to sound accusatory in any way, shape, or form, but the thing is, is that when we reflect on things like the theater when we reflect on things like those Marines that had their lives taken by legitimate assholes, we have to ask ourselves the following question. If we were inserted into that situation and anyone watching this, would that have been you? You know, be honest with yourself. Would that have been you? Would you have taken your gun off before going in there because your girlfriend doesn't like having to hug you and feel your friggin' handgun because you carry appendix or some shit like that, you know, or because a sign told you not to, you know, or do you carry anyway? Do you abide by the natural principles that say, I'm allowed to defend my own fucking life? Do you abide by the principle that states I really don't care what it is. I'm a part of the world's deadliest fighting force that has ever existed. I'm not going to be coaxed into not defending my own life. You know, so 
we have to ask ourselves our, ourselves this question, and we have to ask ourselves, you know, what really is our purpose? It, it is the purpose of all of this just to say that we can do it, or are you going to live by it? Is your purpose for watching my videos or to go out and get training just a hobby? And that's fine if it's a hobby. It really is. It's fine. Or is it your life seatbelt? Something that you pray to God you're never going to have to use because whatever led up to you having to use it fucking sucked. But in the event, you had it, and it worked. You know what I mean? So we really have to ask ourselves this question, and we have to really kind of search real deep in our own little souls and, and ask ourselves, you know, are we going to leave that gun home ever? You know? And, and, and here's another thing, because I'm trying this thing where I in videos on a more positive note. You know, for those of us who want to get into it, who are who are afraid of, you know, how things are going right now, either uh, politically or as far as recent civil unrest that's been going fucking ape shit lately. Or just because they want to do what they have to do in order to defend their own lives and the people that they love the most. But they're they're afraid to go to something like a class because, oh, I don't know, I haven't done this in a long time. Uh, oh, I don't know, my body doesn't work too good. You know, here's the thing. You know, we, we have to ask ourselves this question for anything that we do. I mean, anything. You know, are you going to start going to the gym again? Well, I don't know, because fucking uh, my body doesn't work too good and all this other stuff, you know. Or when you're at a bar. Oh, am I going to go talk to that chick? I don't know. I've been out of the dating game for a while. And blah, my message to you is fuck that. All of that. Those doubts and stuff, they're all imposed on by you. Seriously, they're all imposed upon yourself by you. All kinds of people can tell you all kinds of shit. Believe me. Okay? I function on the internet. I'm on YouTube. People tell me what my limits are all the time, or at least what they think they know are my limits. But the only one that makes that real decision there is you. You know, can you carry that gun every day? Yes. Can you go get trained and become excellent at this? Yes. Can you beat the shit out of yourself in the gym and emerge a far more healthy and fit individual? Yes, you can. And yes, you can talk to that chick at the bar too. Worst that's going to happen is that she tells you no. That's it. And a lot of people are afraid to take these steps and a lot of people are afraid to you know, go out and a a attempt these things. And again, it's not to sound accusatory, but it's because we're all afraid of failure in one, in one way or another. We are. That's just how it is. But what I would say is to accept that failure. Live within it and live with it. Because only then can you actually learn from it. And the only reason why you should, in my opinion anyway, is because you're going to die soon anyway. Why live in fear? Remember guys, a regular guy's firearm is the last defense against tyranny. Be easy.